Hi there guys. So we made it up to the West Chicago Lakes campground. Uh, the campground is closed because it's winter, but there's some pull off spots. So we decided to do that. Um, it's very hard to find winter car camping spots. We've found out. Uh, so we found this one. We're setting up now and I uh, got some footage driving up here with the new drone, but it is quite windy. So don't know when I'll actually it's quieted down now. Hopefully the windscreen's working on the mic, but uh, yeah, we're just going to kind of hang out. Um, it's important in these kind of times to get out and enjoy nature and for me to test some test some gear and just get outside so that's what we're gonna do today uh, we're gonna make some food later hang out read um, and just kind of get outside and test gear so hope you guys enjoyed that footage earlier uh, I'll be doing kind of a full trip video here so uh, not too many talking sections like this but I wanted to update you guys I'll show you guys how I got up here it's about 45 minutes from Denver so a nice spot um, would be really nice in the summer when this campground's open, the view is absolutely beautiful. Hopefully I can get some drone shots and really show you guys where we're at, but uh, I only have the Mini 2, and it's good for 22 mile per hour winds. It's about 20 mile per hour winds right now, so I don't want to push it, but uh, we'll see. If you guys like this kind of content, go ahead and hit like or subscribe to the channel. We're gonna be doing a lot more car camping videos. We're getting a lot of gear sent our way to kind of review and feature, so I'm very excited about that, and uh, this summer is gonna be awesome. Hope you guys enjoy from here on out. Alright guys, we just finished cooking up some lunch, a pretty easy lunch. And for those of you that don't know, this is Suzanne, my friend. Um, we come camping and hiking and do stuff together. Yeah. So, but we just ate. Our plans for dinner are going to be some venison steaks. And uh, we're just taking a break because it's quite windy out. And it's like, I think it's like 18 degrees right now um, without wind chill. So it's pretty cold. Suzanne was a little cold. So we're gonna sit in here and maybe read a little bit. We've got everything hooked up and as you can see the nice artsy lights going. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any questions about what we bring on a camping trip or the gear that we're using, I'm gonna have everything in the description. Uh, but if you guys wanna post in the comments and ask questions, that'd be great. But for now, we're just gonna hang out and so we'll probably catch you guys in a little bit.
right, hi there guys. So we're back. Uh, we went on just a little hike with some footage there. There's a trailhead a couple hundred yards that way. Um, we just wanted to get moving because it is a little bit cold and it was windier earlier, so we wanted to stay warm. We did take a little nap, so we got up and took a hike. Uh, now we're making some tea, just staying warm, using gear. We did get some drone shots, so the, that will, uh, it's still a little breezy, but it allowed us to get a couple. I didn't want to go too far because it was kind of waving around, but uh, we're going to make some venison later, probably when it gets dark, and then stay warm and hang out, but yeah. yeah. Just hanging out. Um, the trailhead, it was the Hell's Hole trailhead, um, and there's a lake. We didn't quite make it to the lake. It was pretty snowy and icy, and um, you know, yeah. we just wanted to get out quick, but uh, we're excited to come back in summer and see this place when it's, you know, not so yeah. chilly and, and when we can actually, you know, really get out and, and explore, but it's yep. beautiful and um, the sunset should be happening here maybe in a little while. Uh, it's kind of overcast now. There's a snowstorm blowing in, but um, maybe, maybe you'll see some of that later. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, we'll see you guys at dinner. Right, guys real quick I wanted to kind of show what we're gonna be sleeping on here this is a um, build out out of some plywood that my dad and I did it was kind of his retirement project that I assigned to him he's been bored so I decided to give him a project and um, I've been wanting to do this for the Subaru pretty much when I got this about a year ago um, it gives two storage compartment sections here so it lifts you up and then it levels you out so you're able to lay down flat which is important uh, when you're sleeping so this is a key um, if you guys are interested in the build that I did I can uh, go ahead and comment or email me if you want armkoutdoors at gmail.com but it was pretty simple and it's giving us this setup which is gonna be amazing for tonight tent camping is cool it's very light but if you have a car and you're in a place like this um, I don't see why not, you know, and so when you have something like this, it really opens up those doors for you to lay down and take advantage and then it's nice. It looks really good. I do have, uh, I think this is a key feature if you're into video or photography or even just out and you bring some electronics, having a power station like this, this is the Rock Pals Rock Power 300 watt um, power station. They just came out with this guy. They sent it over for me. I'm going to be doing a full review here soon, but this has worked extremely well. Um, I don't know if you guys can see, but I'm at 90% right now, 90% um, left, and I have plugged it in as the car has been on a little bit, and it will take in power along with giving it out if the car's on, so that's good. I have a 12 volt back here that powers, and it's got plenty of outputs. I'm actually charging my drone, the controller, and then I've done my camera battery once already. Um, so it's a very nice tool to have for this. You really don't want to be you know, in this day and age without, you know, you always want to have a backup power source. So this is super light. Um, I believe it's seven pounds. It fits in here really well. So that will also be a link uh, in the description. I'll put pretty much all of my gear down there and you guys can check it out. Or if you have any questions, just put it in the comments. But um, we're going to get ready for some dinner soon. So stay tuned. Right, guys well we're in the car we are locked up we've got purple lips and purple teeth we have a little <laughs> bit of wine with our uh, home self-harvested venison chops for dinner which was amazing yeah we are uh, we're the only ones up here so it's it's nice I mean we, we got it to ourselves um, we have some insulation here on the windows to keep us warm and give us some visibility and we have that generator um, 
our power station powering the lights in here. So we're gonna watch a movie on the tablet and just kind of hang out. It's only about eight o'clock, so we're still we still got some night. But it, it was getting cold, and unfortunately, somehow there's still a fire ban here in Clear Creek, uh, Colorado, which is where I volunteer fire so i did not want to start a fire um and then post it on youtube <laughs> um so yeah we just decided to come in here we started the car for a little bit and uh charged up the generator and got some heat going but that got out quick but we should be warm enough we've got um we each have nemo sleeping bags with a rumple blanket on top just for good measure so we're gonna see how it goes but we're gonna probably just watch a movie and yeah we'll, we'll see y'all in the morning yeah See you guys tomorrow for some, well, we don't eat breakfast. We intermittent fast, but we'll see you for some coffee. So, uh, yeah. All right, guys. Thanks. Good night. Good night. Hi there, guys. It is about 640 in the morning. It's still, yeah, 13 degrees. So... We're up, we ended up falling asleep at like uh, nine last night. So we've got plenty of sleep and the windows are nice and frosted down there you can see, but we stayed pretty warm. I think the little insulation did its job. You come on, <laughs> there, there. So yeah, we're gonna go make some coffee. I've got the car running so we can get some heat in here before we get up and uh, maybe fly the drone, get a sunset, sunrise, it's fancy time-lapse thing, we'll see. But that's pretty much the trip. We're alive, we're a little cold, and we need to figure out a better mattress because we both decided that we were in quite a lot of pain. Um, so, you guys have any suggestions for a thicker mattress for a twin that can fold up? Let us know. All right. Thank you.